gross profit gross profit is what it is nothing but balancing figure or else your final answer once you done with your percentage of gross profit what is the next procedure the easiest one next procedure is what you have to calculate once you done with percentage of gross profit what is the next procedure c A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Radha Sir here, lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are discussing your Unit Four called your Fire Insurance Claim. In your financial accounting, the next topic we call it as Fire Insurance Claim. Now, what do you mean by Fire Insurance Claim? As you know that. In factories are go down. All the stock are unsold stock, or we can call it as inventory, which are kept in raw your go downs. Now, whatever kept in the go down as a safety, we have to take a safety measure for that particular go down. How do you take safety measure for that particular go down? You will make all the Uh, buildings like all the complete your door everything you will do along with that you will go with one watchman or somebody who take care of that but other than this if anything happens like fire occurred so who will help you the only person can help you that is called insurance company whatever you lost due to fire if you have insurance for that particular raw material then you can claim that insurance amount now if the loss occurred is 1 lakh the insurance company will not give you complete 1 lakh as per the selling price but insurance company will give you minimum of 80% to 70% of your damage happened depends upon how much damage happened what is your actual loss and what is the insurance term you have made uh, according to that based on this the insurance company will assist you so during the fire claim the only god is what insurance company now problem number 1 from the following information calculate the amount of claim under fire insurance your question will be like this before i'll get into the question as i told you i always go with concept now how do you prepare your insurance claim if you just understand this concept any number of problem easily you can crack you will go with first one your trading account first one will be what your trading account now so i'll show you how your trading account looks like this will be trading account once you done with your trading account you should percentage calculate percentage of gross profit what is your gross profit the percentage you are supposed to calculate once you done with your percentage of gross profit what is the next procedure the easiest one next procedure is what you have to calculate you have to calculate the next one memorandum of trading account memorandum of trading account now what is the third step memorandum of trading account once you done with memorandum of trading account the next procedure will be what how many procedures are there wait i'll let you know there are only four to five procedures are there simple what is the actual loss you incurred once you done with what is the actual loss you incurred what is the next step the next step is called as trading gross percentage of gross profit memorandum actual loss incurred and the last one what about your insurance claim this is what your calculation hope you are clear trading your percentage of gross profit memorandum actual loss as well as insurance claim this is all you are supposed to learn in this now So we are done with your trading gross profit memorandum actual loss and insurance claim how to do this now under trading account anything which is related to previous year or your last year like closing stock purchases sales wages salary is not part of your trading account remember closing stock for the last year up to this we go with what your trading 
account. You know the format of trading account? Yes, simple one. In the trading account, we go with, here it will be opening stock, purchases, and we'll go with wages, and this side, it will be sales, and this will be closing stock. This is what your credit side as well as debit side. What is the difference? The difference is called as your gross profit. Hope you are clear. What is the difference? The difference is called as gross profit. Now, we are done with your gross profit now. In the gross profit, what you are supposed to do, very simple. Closing stock, they have given, take. Purchases, they have given, take. Your sales, they have given, take. And wages, they have given, take. What is this closing stock? Very simple. The closing stock of the last year, it is nothing but opening stock for the current year. This is the actual closing stock for the year. Clear? In the question paper, they will give you clearly closing stock for the last year, others they will give you opening stock directly. Now, once you're done with this, take everything under what? Trading account. Once you're done with trading account, next will be what? Purchases till the date of fire. In the memorandum, sales till the date of fire. Memorandum, scrap value for the actual loss, value of policy, policy amount. Clear? Now, so trading account, all the informations we got, we'll go with that. These are your trading accounts. See, I'll, I have started with opening stock, 1 lakh, purchases, wages, gross profit. Gross profit is what? It is nothing but balancing figure, earns your final answer. What about your credit side? Credit side, we have sales and closing stock. What do we have? Sales and closing stock. We are done with your 8 lakh and 1 lakh. The total value will be how much? 9 lakh. Now, if you're done with this, the next part will be percentage of gross profit. Gross profit into 100 divided by sales. Gross profit into 100 divided by sales. What is your gross profit? 2,60,000. What is your sales? 8 lakh. Now, multiply with 100, you will get what is your gross profit percentage. Hope you're clear? Yes. We are done with your percentage of gross profit. Once you're done with percentage of gross profit, what is the next procedure? C, memorandum of trading account. What is the next one? Memorandum of trading account. Under this, opening stock is given, purchases are there, gross profit is there. Opening stock, purchases, gross profit. Once you're done with this, go with sales, closing stock. Opening stock given. Where do, where do you get opening stock? I'll show you. Go back to your trading account. What is your closing? One lakh. Last year closing, this year it will be what? Opening stock. See? Then purchases. Purchase already given in the question. And sales already given in the question. Closing stock not given. Gross profit not given. If closing stock given, easy to find out gross profit. If the gross profit is given, easy to find out closing stock. Both are not given. How to find out? Simple. What is the gross profit percentage? 32.5. Now, so simple. Take sales 3,40,000 into what is the gross profit percentage? 32.5. 32.5 divided by 100. We are done with your gross profit. Hope you are clear. Good. We are done with your gross profit. That will be how much? 1,10,500. Once you're done with your gross profit, what you are supposed to do? You have to check your closing stock. Add everything, 5,10. This closing stock is called as balancing figure. So don't scratch your head. Where do you get your closing stock? The closing st stock is what? Your total minus this one. Okay. So if you do this calculation, you will get this 1,10,500. Hope you are clear. Good. 
Once you're done with this, what is the next one? Actual loss. How do you calculate your actual loss? Your closing stock. We'll go with closing stock. How much? 1,70,500. Before that, your closing stock is how much? 1 lakh. Now, in this, I have given you one small example. In this, I'll go back to your question. Your scrap value is how much? 15,000. Scrap value how much? 15,000. Your value of policy? 50,000. Yes. Now, I have given you a small example. Actual loss is 120. What is your closing stock? 120,000. What is the scrap value? 10,000. 120 minus 10,000. What will be your answer? 1,10,000 will be your answer. This is what? This is your example problem. Example. How to calculate this? They have given clearly. Actual loss minus closing stock, it will be 120 minus 10, it will be 1,10,000. Then, the similarly, your insurance claim value is how much? Your insurance claim, actual loss divided by closing stock. As per this, insurance claim is 40,000. Your actual loss is how much? 1,10,000 as per this. And divided by 1,20 is your closing. Your answer is 36,667 as per the example. As per your problem, what will be answered? I'll show you. I'll show you. We'll follow the same procedure. What is this? Actual loss. Actual loss. How to calculate actual loss? Closing stock minus salvage value. Closing stock minus salvage value. What is the closing stock they have given? They have given closing stock of 1,20,000. 1,70,500. As per our problem, 1,70,500. What is the actual salvage value? I'll go back to your answer question. Your salvage or scrap value. Scrap value is called as salvage. Your salvage value is how much? 15,000. So it will be how much? 1,55,500 is your what? This is called as your actual loss. So next procedure will be what? Insurance claim into actual loss divided by closing stock. Now, what is your insurance claim? As per the question, it is 50,000. Into, what is the actual loss? As per our answer, 1,55,500 divided by, what is the closing stock? As per this, 1,70,500. Now you are supposed to find out the answer. Hope you are clear. I'll use the calculator and I'll let you know what is your answer. So 50,000 multiplied with 1,55,500 divided by 1,70,500. I got around 45,601. See, your damage is worth of how much? 1,55,000. But how much you got as per the insurance policy? You got 45,601. Hope you are clear. So, this is an example problem. This is an actual problem. Work out both. You will understand better. So, before I'll wind up, I'll go back to all the previous screens so that you can take screenshot. So, this is your fire insurance claim. Your problem number one, trading account. Memorandum of trading account. Actual loss and insurance claim. This is all about your topic called insurance claim. Hope you understood. There are five steps are there. Follow one by one. It will be easy for you. Thank you.